In this video, we are going to discuss problems related to causality of the system. So now you can observe the problems. These problems are given in gate 91 and uh, gate 2005. An excitation is applied to a system at t is equal to t and its response is 0 for minus infinity less than t less than t. Such a system is non-causal system, stable system, causal system or unstable system we need to say. So here they given the excitation that means input is applied at t is equal to t that means our present time is equal to t. So for this time this system is said to be causal or this system is said to be stable or this system is uh, uh, un, uh, that means non-causal or unstable we need to specify. So by considering time itself we can't uh, justify the stability of a system. So here uh, stable system means for bounded input we need to get bounded output causality we can define by using this time period. So for this present input so here your response is going to depend upon your past input or not you need to see if that is dependent upon past input that is not said to be causal whenever a system is said to be causal whenever uh, our response uh, for a present input is dependent upon present and future inputs present and past inputs then that is said to be causal otherwise that is said to be non-causal system. So here, uh, here for our present system present input is T and your system response the system response from minus infinity to T it is considered as 0. Now, so an excitation is applied to a system at t equal to t and its response is 0 for minus infinity to t such a system is they are asking. But here uh, we need to say we need, we need to say this is a uh, this is a causal system the system response depends upon only present input. For example, if they given if the response is dependent upon uh, values from t to some other values then we can't say that is causal why because causal system response depends upon present or past here even past values also not going to include this only depends upon present input so system is said to be a causal system which of the following can be impulse response of a causal system so this is given in 2005 so here always your value must be your response signal must be a right sided signal to get causal system response. So here you need to consider this signal. So a system is said to be causal means it needs to depend upon present and past input. If that is depend upon present and past inputs you are going to get right sided signal. So that means this signal you are going to get this is causal system for example anyone given you response of this system so here if this signal is totally right sided then you can say that is causal system you, if you see this system this is having some part of right side so this is totally uh, left side this is having some part of left side and if you see you are having some signal at left side so only this signal is totally having right sided so that is this is only the causal system like this way we need to trace whether the system is causal or non-causal.